thank Bansi Bai. He's always been a kind mentor and has always helped me everywhere. And thank the chairperson uh, for the kind introduction. It's very difficult to speak after Sunil sir because the standards are very high. Uh, so we'll just make an attempt on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, I've been using oral semaglutide and I'm, to, I'm to going to bring my experience. And one of the toughest experience was, uh, you see, my father is also a general medicine specialist. He's been practicing for 50 years. So whenever my mother is diabetic, so whenever I have to convince my mother for something, my father stands there. He said, 50 years we have been married, you have to bypass me to, to actually prescribe any medication for her. And uh, we still love our parents and it's, uh, we can argue with them, but we have to follow what they say at the end of the day, this Indian values. So it's always, so that was my experience and that's what I'm going to share about the questions I was asked and how I answered and my experience that has been going on with that. Uh, sir has already set the stage and sir has talked about snack. So I'm just going to elaborate a little few things on snack. But when the snack came, it reminded me one day because see, after MBBS, I call it third year syndrome. Third year, tak jab tak pahunchte, tab tak lagta kyun liya yaar? Life kharaab kar di. So then it, you realize, my chemistry pad sakta tha. So when I saw snack, it realized ki main kyun chemistry nahi pada? Because I can't even pronounce that in a in a fashion. So uh, you know, it will be one time I'll do that. Sodium N A two hydroxybenzoyl amino caprylate. But for all practical purposes, we shall call that snack only. Um, the reason why snack is very important, and I'll make a very clear analog as to why, how we can understand snack. Snack is like a sarthi. In Mahabharat, we see that sarthi, enemy camp, se le ja ke, mila, piche Krishna ji le ja ke Arjun ko le gaya, jis everybody needed a good sarthi. And that is exactly what snack does in the absorption of oral semaglutide. And it enhances the absorption, as already said, by you know, creating a pit and reducing the acidity and reducing the breakdown of gastric enzymes, which has already been demonstrated as it passes through it. So the fact that snack is now absorbed with oral semaglutide, where either be 3 milligram or 7 milligram or 14 milligram, the amount of snack that we give is always 300 milligram. And I shall come that to an, in a slide. Why is it 300 milligram? And why cannot we do Indian Jugaad system of grading the tablet in snack? Because we all refine that. Now, We've, sir has talked about 50 ml of water to 120 ml of water and if you open the pack it says up to 120 ml of water. Now there is a problem, 120 ml of water ka glass nahi banta. Theek hai? India, Indian scenario mein glasses nahi milte. Now I am in an advantageous position ke humare yaan alcohol ke packs ke glasses milte hai, yaan nahi milta openly. To mein apne patient ko bolta hoon aur koi bhi 60 ml ka pack nahi bana hai, aas tak mein nahi dekha hai. Jo alcohol peete hoon, 60 ml banate hi nahi hai. 60 ml karke thoda sa upar se niche chala jata hai. To mein unko kehta hoon, you use your 60 ml pack ka glass and thoda sa overflow kar lo, you are still within the range of what you need to take with the water so that there is no confusion amount excessive water or under water. I don't know if that might not work here, but here what you can use is a half a cup of water which is roughly 60 ml because a cup is around 140 ml big in size of that cup. Now there has to be a rational, there has to be a rational in life why we are doing it and why not that we are doing it. So first of all the question is I, why should we give it in a fed state and not in a fast, always in a fasting state because the first question the patient asks us sir, khane ke baad lena hai ya khane ke pehle lena hai. Some of the molecules it does not matter, but in here, if you can see in the fasting state, uh, the, uh, the PP state, there was limited absorption or detectable exposure with semaglutide. And with fasting state, we need at 30 minutes, it was, it reached statistical significance. So that's why we need 30 minutes of fasting state while taking this medication that are there. And as you can notice in even all the slides, the gastric stasis is reduced in the first hour, so the peak value comes at one hour post absorption. And that you will see in all the curves that I show, at one hour it starts using, uh, getting therapeutic level uh, that is there. Again, the question of water, which we have, uh, which we have already discussed, and this lesser absorption, so there is lower plasma exposure with 240 ml of water, as well as lesser, so the best state is between 50 to 120 ml of water. I was in a uh, talk in Calcutta and somebody asked me, sir, kya ho jayega? Jada le lenge, kyun le lenge? Mainne ka, dekho, yaar, India mein mehengi dawai hai. Ek to mehengi dawai aap patient ko de rahe ho. Aur wo aapka dushman hai. Kyunki aap usko bol ho, absorption bhi kam kara ho, paise bhi jada lo. So you give him, I tell them patient, you are taking a very expensive molecule. Make sure you get the buck of your money back. And everybody likes that in India. 
जो दिए उसका पाई पाई वसूली करना चाहिए तो अगर आप 50 से 120 सौ बीस लेते हो तो आपको उसका मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट मिल रहा है तो उसको क्यों छोड़ने का पॉइंट वन परसेंटेज भी डिफरेंट हो या पॉइंट जीरो फाइव का भी एच बी वन सी का कुछ फर्क आए तो उसको पूरा का पूरा अपने को लेने का है सो दैट इज द रैशनल ऑफ दिस दैट इज दैर पोस्ट डोज इफेक्ट ऑफ थर्टी एम एल रिजल्ट इन क्लिनिकल नाउ एज एस इट वाई स्नैक इज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड वाई वी शूड इन ब्रेक इट कैन इट बी ब्रोकन सो दे लुक एट स्टडीज विथ हंड्रेड एंड थ्री हंड्रेड एट फाइव मिलीग्राम दिस ऑल लेसर एब्जॉर्बन एज यू कैन सी विथ हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एंड सिमिलर लेसर एब्जॉर्बन विथ सिक्स हंड्रेड सो वी आइडियली नीड थ्री हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम टू गेट द मैक्सिमम इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस मॉलिक्यूल दैट इज दैर सो वॉट वी डू आई एम श्योर इन एस जी एल टी टू और वेरियस मॉलिक्यूल्स ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीग्राम विच से फॉर कॉस्ट इफेक्टनेस यू टेक हाफ अ टैबलेट और एनी टैबलेट्स वी एडवाइज दैम इफ यू टेक हाफ अ टैबलेट स्नैक इज गॉन बी वन फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम सो दे एब्जॉर्बन इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी वेरी गुड and you should not split crush or chew the tablet as when you are giving so with all this i convinced my mother to take it uh, she took it next day and uh, she took it at 7 o'clock with all the instructions 8 o'clock i was called at the dining table my mother boli kya khila diya yaar pura zeher hai muh mein so i was like acha so i called a few patients of mine are aisa kuch foul taste laga bol ha sir laga to maine kaha okay so i told my mother so then i realized i modified the scenario See, snack is a little foul tasting, and oral semi is foul tasting. So I said, "How did you take it?" She said, "I put the tablet in my mouth and I drank 50 ml, 60 ml as you advised." So I said, "I said, I 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 So this was my learning lesson from my house, and with that, I if they tell me this, I take you take a small sip of water, then you take the tablet, then the contact time with the tongue will be less, and the patient will not have this foul taste that is there. So that was a chance discovery that I happened, and when I went back to quite a few of my patients, they also suggested that, and that I was been able to modify. Now next question, we always we like to break rules. In India, rule me koi nahi chalta. Hami rule torne me bada maza aata hai. To sawal hamesa aise hi hota hai. To uska jawab bhi hamre ko sochna chahiye. So why it's a half life? Why it has to be taken daily? You saying half life seven days? Ham alternate day kar lete hain ham. So, you know why can't we do that? And the reason with that is that if we look at similar exposure levels of oral and subcut sema, it results in similar safety and effectiveness, and unaffected by mode of transportation. Now. This graph will clearly explain that. See, when we are taking three milligram every day, three milligram times seven is point two is twenty one, and one percent of that is roughly equal to point two five of subcut sema. If you are taking seven milligram, seven times seven is forty nine, which is equal to five. That is one uh, percent of that is point five. And similarly, one hundred milligram ka one milligram of subcut sema. So to have the adequate plasma levels, we need to take that on a daily basis. Now. Again, this slide is very important because if you look at 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 three uh, milligrams, seven milligrams, and fourteen milligrams in pioneer studies, the upper ka niche ka it gets a little blurred. So whatever we are taking, the absorption may vary between eighty to one hundred and twenty percent of oral sema, and that is why it has to be taken daily to maintain the steady state in the blood, rather than uh, which does not happen that uh, much in. Uh, subcut sema but with oral there is upper uh, niche thoda blurring that's why we need to take it on a daily basis now this is the absorption distribution elimination metabolism but a key point is that it is extensively bound to plasma albumin and so one question which i get asked so in patients who have low albumin will this affect the molecule because it's extensively bound to plasma albumin so i also work as a sexologist and i get a lot of my patients who come when they have breakups and uh, baby at a boy or a girl and they come and say sir ab to kya hoga ab to chhod gayi ya chhod gaya to maine kaha talab mein bahut machli hai to chinta nahi karne ka to similarly if you see even even though the albumin levels are low there is a vast excess of plasma albumin sites available to each drug molecule so it does not really affect even if the albumin levels are low there is the, the concentration in clinical practice so it's very marginal next question is india mein there is a one major problem that is always there which is gas had patient ko gas ka problem hota hi hota hai i don't know how but all of them patient have gas and all of them are on some molecule or not so now in this gas patients which is around 80% of our 
patients will oral sama be accepted be will be absorbed well or not that is a question so they look at the study because stomach is a predominant site of absorption and they look at there is no difference in the exposure of semaglutide in patients with upper gi disease still when a patient comes with me and says i always take a proactive history do you suffer from acidity do you suffer from gas then either if it's too much i ask for an upper gi endoscopy but 70% of patient bolta sir endoscopy nahi karane ka so i do an h pylori blood test this is my own clinical practice if the h pylori blood test is positive i treat that before i start the patient on oral semaglutide because i don't want a drug to be blamed for something which is nothing to do and they will not take that molecule so that is one practice which i do if i find that is happening the question is now in patient with renal impairment what should be doing is there any you know what studies are there or not so i looked up and they looked at the study and us fda has allowed this that in patients with the elimination route is via non renal route the studies that have been done could be sufficient and said so they look as i said again look at the first hour always there will be a spike and that will be in all slides of oral sama you will ever see because the first hour it will really jump and reach the therapeutic level so renal impairment does not appear to pk properties of oral sama following 10 consecutive once daily dose so no dose adjustment is necessary in patients with renal impairment in fact pioneer 5 has shown that the hba1c and weight reduction in patients with moderate renal impairment happens without significant increase in serious adverse events and it is safe second is it beneficial and there is a recent study this is by sapkar sama but it's fairly similar which has shown that there is improvement in albuminuria in patients with especially macroalbuminuria over one year by 50% reduction that are there similar is it safe in hepatic and similar logic is there and they looked at the, as you can see the spike at the first hour and they look at 10th consecutive day dosing and they found that no dose adjustment is needed in patients with hepatic impairment so next question is we our patient we have a lot of polypharmacy and so what we do is that any interaction with this polypharmacy what is commonly prescribed we said 80% of our patients have gas so they will be prescribed in ppi so does ppi have any interaction with oral semaglutide so they look at data with co administration of oral semaglutide now even the word co administration i mean that it was given 30 minutes after oral sama that does not mean it was given at the same time and they looked at it and they found that no dose adjustment is required if oral semaglutide is administered with omeprazole that is there now i'll come to this and i'll go back to that again they looked at thyroxine Th hypothyroidism is very common in indian population and generally we take it empty stomach in the morning so we wanted to know whether there is an interaction they looked that the, though there is an increase in the 33% of total levothyroxine there is the total area under the curve does not change but patients are advised to monitor their thyroid function test when they are on oral semaglutide and more data indian data will come but here there i have two problems that i face and one sir has already said ki okay, a lot of our patients have this habit of morning taking two glasses of water three glasses of water before they even brush their teeth now what do i do with these patients and second problem i have because as an endocrinologist a lot of my patients are on thyroid so what is a practical work that i do when i do that so if you look at all the data of pioneer trials they divide they de, uh, define the fasting state now fasting state has to be defined what is fasting state 6 hours 4 hours 8 hours 9 hours what is fasting state so in the trials that we have is 8 hours fasting state so you can fight as much as you can but your wife always wins so you can put the argument in front of your patient but you it is the patient who is going to do the choice so if i have a patient who i have really fought very difficulty and got a thyroxine level and i have struggled then i don't do this i ask them in india we have three meals breakfast lunch and dinner breakfast lunch are closed lunch and dinner is apart so i tell them wo 5 baje ka jo aap log nashta karte ho usko chhod do 8 ghante ka gap ho jata hai you can take either oral sema 8 hours gap because that is fasting between lunch and dinner if i have struggled with the thyroxine similarly if i am looking at the water i would ideally tell them you take oral sema aadha ghante baad jitna pani peena pee lo lekin abhi patient bole main chhunga nahi sir meri mera pet saaf nahi hota mera ye nahi hota wo nahi hota nahi bhi hoga to uske dimag mein wo andar rahega so this is another way i have used in practical purpose that i used use this the studies of 8 hours that doesn't mean the study says morning 8 hours lunch 8 hours 8 8 hours you do lunch and dinner dinner ke pehle bhi aap kar sakte ho but maintain you maintain that and this is my personal experience this is not what novo is saying again warfarin we suggest that you monitor the frequent inr rest we have already discussed now 
one question that I have often asked is uh, SGLT2 dena hai ya GLP1 dena hai, MPA dena hai, because patients you want to add a drug, do you want to give MPA or do you want to give oral samadhiotide? So it's like you have uh, doing a T20 cricket match and I have said Virat Kohli ko pehle opening karao ya Rohit Sharma ko bhejo, abhi kaun better batsman, it's very difficult to define. So ideally we would like to open with both in the fight of diabetes, ki dono ko dalo, apne ko maximum har jaga se benefit chahiye. But if you look at head to head trial that still exists with us, the difference between oral semaglutide and uh, oral semaglutide and oral EMPA at 25, at 14 and 25 milligram, you can see the difference of HbA1c is around 0.5 percent. Now what is a 0.5 percent HbA1c? See any oral anti-diabetic drug that we give reduces HbA1c other than insulin and GLP-1, reduces HbA1c by between 0.5 to 1 percent as a rough kind of a rule, be it a gliptin, be it anything. So 1% is a barn door rule, 0.5 to 1% is what we actually look at reduction. So this might translate, does it translate to one lesser medication that you might need in the future for the patient? I don't know. But this is what the trial 0.5% is signifies. And there is a slightly better weight reduction in the pioneer trial to when it was compared at 0.9 kilogram it was better. So overall what I've done is I've shared my experience. My mother is presently taking it, she is well tolerated. and. Uh, homeostasis of the house is still maintained, I still, uh, I still am there and most of the patients are doing it. In fact, we have uh, submitted a poster in IDF, we have been accepted to present in IDF, we have done a multicentric real world three month study which I can't process because we are going to present that in IDF and uh, the results have been very good, it has been multicentric from India. Um, but I think it is a good molecule uh, in patients and counselling of the patients is very important when you are doing that. The only question that I'm asked at the end is, sorry about manga. Now, manga is is very difficult to define. So, I remember when I was uh, started my practice. I, you have to start practice. You have to go in rural areas. So, I'd gone to a rural area, and uh, I was sitting in a pharmacy. We all start like that, and uh, I was prescribing somebody, and I didn't know usko bis rupya ka. I was planning to prescribe some molecule, and looking at it, he had some yellow dhoti with some holes in it. I said, I will not write it, I will not write it. So I asked him, I am writing 20 rupees, you will not write it, so it is warm for his relative. He said, I will go out. I will not go out, I will not go out. He said, you are seeing all the land, 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 all the land. So we are biased sometimes by our physical appearance, which is the shirt pant, which is the iron, 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 which is the iron. So I think our bias should be removed, we should tell the patient, whether the patient can afford it or not afford it, that is his viewpoint. I have got patients from Shillong, they say, sir, it is my problem how I afford the best medication, not your problem. Your job is to tell me that is why I have come and paid your fees. Your job is not to make that decision for me. With that, I end my talk and thank you very much. For your